Good morning students. In this video, we are going to see the quantum confinement in semiconductors. Uh, we already saw the enough, uh, uh, enough definitions and uh, th uh, formations of quantum dots. So, now, we, uh, today in this class, we are going to see the semiconductor quantum confinement in semiconductors. In an unconfined, okay, unconfined, that means bulk semiconductors. An electron was pair is typically bound within the characteristic length called Bohr excitation radius. Yeah. The electron volt pairs are yeah, bounded within the characteristics length. Okay. That length should be okay. That the, from the, the, from the so, so what will happen? The that will they will call as the Bohr excitation radius. If electron and volts are constrained further, then the semiconductor properties are changed in case the we are varying the radius of that electron or volts okay in case we and we are varying the uh, constraint in the holes as well as the electron okay when you are moving the electron definitely the radius will be varying so uh, they are telling so the due to that what happening the previous semiconductor properties will be also changed we can develop various types of semiconductors various properties also we can develop according to our applications we can develop various various types of semiconductors this effect is a form of quantum con con confinement and it is a key feature in many emerging electronic structures okay uh, this is the this is the important point so when you are changing that uh, uh, electron hole pairs okay distance okay that is the radius uh, because of varying the electron electron uh, outer radius of the electron or ele number of the electrons so what will happen the radius also varying so that rate due to that the properties of the uh, that particular metal will be metal or conductor will be varying next uh, next uh, here you can see this what is semiconductor a semiconductor is a material which has electrical conductivity between that conductor and that of an insulator here you can see this the proper definition is given so the electrical conductivity between that of conductor and that of an insulator that is a very important point here the you can see this the conduction band okay a blue color indicating the conduction band and red color indicating the valence band so the energy level is here you can see the energy level is flowing from valence band to conduction band here the in the insulator the energy level is very high because of the gap between the large difference in the energy between the is two bands these two bands so due to that the energy uh, the energy level is very high but in the conductors there is no energy lab because of both bands are uh, overlapping there is no gap between the two bands that means conduction band and valence band due to that what happened there is no gap between that so due to that there is no energy gap energy generation will be occurs so overlap between the conduction and the valence band is shown here so in the conductor but in the semiconductor a small energy difference okay between the valence and conduction band will be there here you can see this a small gap that gap will be way we can vary with help of the varying the hole pairs or electron pairs to do that what will happen so the bore radius will be changed so the due to uh, bore, bore radius will be changed the bore radius okay is uh, changing changing that will be gives the semiconductor proper properties variation so we can develop the various types of semiconductor uh, properties with help of this applications next what is quantum confinement is the Quantum confinement already we saw that, but anyway here we are going to see the one uh, one more time is the spatial confinement of electron hole pairs in one or more dimensions within a material. Okay, a spatial confinement. Confinement is nothing but in Tamil it is uh, we can uh, state okay state this we can define as the state okay of state of electron hole pairs in one or more dimensions okay within the material. 1D confinement is they will call as the quantum wells. Okay, we already saw that 2D confinement is nothing but the quantum wires, and 3D confinement is nothing but the quantum dots. Electron volt pairs becomes spatially confined when the diameter of the particle approaches the D 
bogyl okay bogyl wavelength of electron in the conduction band here that is the important one electron hole pairs becomes spatial okay spatially confined when the diameter of the particle approaches the de bogyl wavelength of electron in conduction band here one uh, schematic one picture is given in this as the result of energy difference between the energy bands is increased when the particle size is decreased when you are having the when we are having the small particle the energy band between uh, this valence uh, energy band is very high because of the above uh, above conditions that means bogyl wavelength okay next quantum confinement is more prominent in semiconductor semiconductors because they have energy gap in their electronic band structure because they are having uh, uh, they have energy gap in the electronic band structure here they will give you can see that the energy indicating the first drawing first uh, picture indicating that means in the first picture the first thing is indicating the energy level uh, for the bulk semiconductor when the bulk semiconductor it will be shows the graph is okay uh, curved 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 okay curved linear structure then the next quantum well in the quantum well 2d okay in this is the 3d here you can go 2d here you can see this the step formation of energy will be developed but in the 1d you can see this we are getting that uh, wavelength formation here you can see this the wavelength formation okay uh, then but in the quantum dot we are getting that uh, the energy conduction okay energy conduction form energy level is nothing but it will be given as a uh, at particular point we are getting the more number of more energy okay like that <coughs> more energy okay metals do not have band gap so quantum size effects are less prevalent quantum confinement is only observed at here you can see that is a very important it will be only observed at the dimension below 2 nanometers quantum confinement only observed okay uh, when the dimension is below 2 nanometers quantum confinement effect is observed when the size of the particle is too small comparable to de Broglie wavelength of the electron so when we are getting the quantum confinement is the when the when the particle size is very small at that time comparable okay compared to the de Broglie wavelength at that time only we are getting the quantum confinement effect here they will give the uh, the differentiation of metal insulator and uh, semiconductor with the help of the resistivity here you can see this so conductor example copper and uh, copper and silver they were given okay uh, the, the for the conductor the resistivity is 10 power minus 6 to 10 power minus 2 uh, ohm uh, centimeter but in the semiconductor silicon and ga gallium arsenide uh, arsenide the uh, the uh, resistivity is 10 power minus 2 10 power 9 okay 10 power minus the range is they were given so but in the insulator silicon dioxide very high yeah resistivity will be will be that due to that what will happen the energy gap is energy level is very high 10 power minus 14 to 10 power 22 so here they will give in the form of uh, some equation okay next the band diagram of solids here you can see this solid here it will be given as a single atom that is uh, the electron system is only the, uh, single atom 3s electron uh, indicating the uh, electron count okay then here 2p then here 2s and 1s but here you can see this okay conduction band the in is valence band and to and uh, energy position given to the for 2n band okay here they will give uh, see, uh, similarly they are giving the energy gap how they are giving the energy gap metal having the very low amount of energy gap okay but insulator also similarly high amount of energy gap okay but in the semiconductor gap is very small uh, 
metal even the metal not having the gap i think uh, the drawing should be there is no here you can see this conduction band having yellow color indicating the conduction band in the conduction band itself the we are having the valence band so there is no movement of uh, uh, electrons due to that wall development there is no energy band but in the insulator we are having that high level high amount of energy gap because the here yellow color indicating the conduction band and blue color indicating the valence band Similarly, in this small amount of valence energy gap will be there in the semiconductor. Similarly, here in the N is indicating that high amount of energy conduction. Sorry, conduction band in the conduction band itself we are having the valence band, but here the there is no moment of the uh, energy because of solid. Okay. Here yeah, T is greater than zero, indicating that. Okay. Next. Here, semiconductor heterostructures. We are indicating the two different uh, semiconductors. They are combining with it, providing the composite like a composites. So for that, they are giving that okay confinement potential. Okay, confinement potential thing. They are providing the confinement potential thing for the particular uh, point. This is energy gap for this particular object that particular metal and the uh, this one is for uh, in the uh, particular object so when you are combining this we are getting this type of the confinement potential energy gap so before going to this topic i will exp i will give one more definition so uh, what is de Broglie wavelength de Broglie wavelength so it is nothing but uh, lambda equal to h by p okay lambda equal to h by p here the wave properties of matter are only observed for very small object small objects so de uh, debogel wavelength of that is lambda equal to h by p h equal to h by mv what is lambda wave length in meters then h is nothing but the the velocity in term uh, in meter per second then m is the mass in kilograms and h is planck's constant sorry lambda is uh, wavelength okay h is planck's constant in joules per hertz here human being in running at the top speed is 1 into 10 power minus 3 6 okay meter so yeah 10 electron volt okay 3.9 into 10 power minus 3 comparable to spacing electronics they were given some examples here okay uh, what is the i will give that a proper definition okay according to wave particle duality the de Broglie wavelength is okay de Broglie wavelength is a wavelength manifested in all the object in quantum mechanics which determines the probability density of finding the object at a given point of the configuration phase so that is the proper definition of de Broglie wavelength so in semiconductors, quantum confined semiconductors include quantum wells, quantum wires, and quantum rods. Quantum wells, which confine electrons or volts in one dimension and allow free propagation in two dimensions. We already saw that. Similarly, quantum wires, which confines electrons and or volts in two spatial dimensions and allow free propagation in only one, uh, one dimension, that is the third dimension. Quantum rods are which confine electrons in all three spatial dimensions. Okay. 